Did you know in 2022 Amazon raked in a whopping 37.7 billion US dollars from advertising? Well, it's pretty clear that sellers like you are getting serious about ads to get your products out there. Now, as you're investing more in ads, it's smart to keep an eye on the campaign's efficiency as well, right? That's where ROA steps in. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to explain everything you need to know about your Amazon ROAS and how to ensure you're making the most on your Amazon ad spend. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. begin if you find this video helpful click the like button below and subscribe to seller app so you don't miss out on more exciting amazon selling tutorials in the future and don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content let's get started if you're new to advertising roas means return on ad spend it helps you figure out if the money you spend on ads is bringing in enough sales money the big idea here is to make sure you get lots of sales for every dollar you spend on your ads. Now, when you run ads on Amazon to boost your sales, you want to know if you are worth the money, right? That's where ROAS comes in. It tells you how much money you're making for every dollar you spend on the ads. A ROAS of three or more is like a gold star. It means you're getting $3 or more in sales for every $1 you put into ads. Aim for an even higher ROAS if you can. A high ROAS doesn't automatically mean your business is making lots of money. Now, what about campaign efficiency? Let's say I get 10 ROAS but my sales are $100. Is it useful though? You gotta think about other costs too, like essential campaign components like Copywriting and graphic design, make sure your product listings are optimized. Production costs, the fees for shipping, labeling and packaging. Other important advertising essentials like using tools such as Amazon Keyword Tool, etc. So here's the trick to finding your ROAS. Take all the money you got from the sales and divide it by how much you have spent on the ads. That number is your ROAS. Easy peasy. Let's say you made $3,50,000 from your ads, but you spent $1,85,000 on them. You do the math like uh, ROAS is equal to $3,50,000 divided by $1,85,000, which will give you 1.89. Now remember, I did say that a good ROAS is three or more. If yours is below that, like 1.89, it's a sign that you might need to check things out. If you want to make things simpler, you could look into tools that automate this metric for you, such as Sarab's advertising tool. Now, let me show you how. After connecting your Amazon advertising account with Sellerapp, log into the dashboard and navigate to the overview page of the advertising feature. Now, this page is designed to give you a bird's eye view of all of your advertising campaigns and their profitability. You can see your ROAS and ROI over here. You can also calculate your return on ad spend based on the monthly ad budget and the target A cost you're going to set. In order to do so, click on the Calculate ROAS button on the right side of your screen. A pop-up will open. Here, you have to enter the relevant details such as the seller type, monthly ad budget, cost of goods, and the target A cost. If you don't have a specific target A cost that is advertising cost of sale in mind, no worries. Just choose a seller type that suits your current situation, whether it is launch, growth, or mature. Based on the selected seller type, seller apps algorithms will automatically set a target A cost for you. Once you are done, simply click on save and close and you're all set to track your campaign's performance based on your ROAS. You can also find your ROAS on your Seller Central account. Here's how. Go to the Advertising drop-down menu and select the Campaign Manager. Pick the campaign you want the information about. Right at the top of the page, you'll see the Ad Spend, Sales and the ROAS. 
Understanding what makes a good ROAS on Amazon isn't a one-size-fits-all deal. There's no special magic number that works for everyone. The right ROAS depends on your brand and how much profit you make. Now let's talk about your minimum ROAS. If you're just getting the word out about your product, hitting your baseline or breaking even ROAS might be your goal. And that's okay too. To figure out your baseline ROAS, start by finding out when you start making profits. That's your break-even point. Once you know that the formula is simple, minimum ROAS is equal to selling price divided by the break-even ROAS. Check out this example to understand better. Imagine you sell a product for $35 and your break-even ROAS is $8. To get your minimum ROAS, divide your selling price by the break-even ROAS. In this case, it's 4.38. This means for every dollar you spend on ads, you should make $4.38 to ensure you are making a real profit, not just covering your costs. Boosting your ROAS on Amazon is a smart move if you want better results. You have got two main options, either increase your ad sales or cut down on your ad spending. But here's the real secret, to both at the same time. Let's dive into some strategies to pump up your Amazon ROAS. Firstly, pick the right keywords. The keywords you choose can make or break your ad budget. So get savvy with your keyword selection. Think about the most useful keywords that match what you are selling. Optimize your choices to get the best bang for your buck. And here's a pro tip. Run a few short PPC campaigns with your initial keyword ideas, then you can pick out the winners. Next is long tail keywords. Instead of going after the popular short tail keywords, focus on the longer, more specific ones. They are not as crowded, plus they show that what shoppers are really interested in buying. Someone using a long tail keyword is more likely to click on an ad. And guess what? These keywords often cost less for PPC because they are not as competitive. Keywords with high conversion rate? Run some ad campaigns, then download the advertising report from your Seller Central account. This report will tell you which keywords are having a good click-through rate and the conversion rate. Once you have got this information, funnel more of your budget into these star keywords. And if needed, crank up their bids to get even more visibility. Another strategy for someone who is familiar with the ad strategies, use seller app ROI optimizer rule or check if you can add performance rule. Diversifying your ad approach on Amazon is a smart move. You have got options like Amazon sponsored products, sponsored brand and sponsored display ads in the PPC advertising. Plus the Amazon demand side platform opens up a whole array of audio, video and other display ads for Amazon and other platforms like streaming apps. The return uh, you get from your ad spend depends on the type of ad you choose. For instance, the same keywords might not yield the same ROAS across the sponsored products and display ads. Now what's been observed is that sponsored product ads lead the pack in returns followed by the sponsored brand ads and the sponsored DSP ads. So what makes the sponsored product ads so good for ROAS is their threefold. Sponsored product ads show up in search results and product pages, the two places where most Amazon shoppers land, whether it's through uh, the search results or other listings, these ads get significant visibility. They often have lower bidding costs compared to brand or DSP ads, and they hold the higher conversion potential as well. Don't forget, the targeting you choose for your campaigns plays a big role in ROAS. For instance, some close match ads might show a higher ROAS estimate, but that doesn't automatically mean they are the best performers. You'll need to invest time into figuring out what works best for you. Plus, remember the different ad types after, uh, you know, various targeting options. Let's say you're running a sponsored products ad. You can choose between the manual and the automatic targeting options. This journey is a mix of experimentation and learning from the outcomes. With dedication and research, you will uh, eventually uncover the most effective strategies for your business. Did you realize that how much you charge for your product 
really affects your ROAS? It turns out that products priced between $21 and $30 often bring the best returns on your ad spending. When you think about it, this makes sense. Most of the people you are trying to reach are likely searching for a great deal. So instead of putting all your marketing efforts into high priced items, consider offering high value deals that catch the customer's attention. What's even better is that many customers are more willing to buy something in this price range because it's not too pricey and fits within most of the budgets. Now you might be thinking, why not just advertise cheaper products then? Well, here's the catch. Promoting products under $21 might not leave much profit after advertising costs. Running PPC ads for them could end up eating into your profits in the long run, even if your ROAS seems high. Amazon gives you options for broad, phrase and exact match bidding when it comes to keywords. So broad and phrase matches respond to search queries even if they include the other keywords. Also, exact match bidding, on the other hand, is the most precise. It only triggers your ad when the search query perfectly matches your chosen keywords. When you go for exact match bidding, your ad only shows up if a shopper types in uh, the exact search query you have chosen. If you have done your keyword research well, you can pick search terms that align perfectly with your product. Now with the right queries, using exact match keyword bidding can give you a nearly 100% click-through rate along with a solid conversion rate. So it's important to monitor the performance of your campaigns and set the daily budget accordingly. It can be done easily with Cellwrap's Campaign Manager feature. Well, here's how it goes. After logging into the Cellwrap dashboard, navigate to the Advertising section and click on Campaign Manager. The Campaign Manager reviews the overall performance of your ad campaigns with the help of visual aids. This feature is divided into two sections. In the first section, you can see the comparison of the key performance indicators along with their graphical representations. In the second section, you can actually monitor the performance of your sponsored products, sponsored brands, and the sponsored display campaigns with the help of campaign attributes, performance metrics, and the derived metrics. You can see a small arrow in front of these metrics. Click on it and you'll see an expanded view of all of these metrics. Under derived metrics, we have ROAS. You can sort your campaigns on the basis of ROAS and accordingly optimize your daily budget at the campaign level. This will help to improve your ROAS throughout. Dynamic bidding is a valuable tool within your Seller Central accounts ad campaign section. It empowers you to make adjustable bids based on the Amazon's assessment of conversion possibilities. There are two dynamic bidding choices, up and down and down only. With up and down dynamic bidding, your bid can increase or decrease as Amazon evaluates the conversions. Alternatively, if Amazon predicts the lower conversion likelihood for an ad placement, the down only option automatically reduces your bid. The down only approach proves useful in curtailing the excessive ad spending, thus helping safeguard and enhance your ROAS. Enhancing your average order value, that is AOV, is another avenue to optimize your ROAS. AOV represents the total sales price of a listing you have promoted through the Amazon ads. Since Amazon ads work on a pay-per-click model, the sales price of your promoted product should significantly exceed the per-click cost for the listing. Raising your AOV creates a more noticeable gap between the ad sales and the expenses, resulting in an improved ROAS. A practical strategy to achieve this is bundling lower value similar items into a single listing when feasible. The upselling technique can also boost your AOV. However, it's essential to note that hiking prices arbitrarily isn't the right way to increase AOV. Doing so not only reduces your chances of winning the buy box but can also lead to your listing being banned from the platform. If you want to be on the top of your game, your listing content needs to be top-notch. 
Sponsored ads can drive clicks, but whether these clicks lead to purchases hinges on your listing information. How you present your product and communicate its features often hold the key to converting users who have clicked from your ad. Looking at the bigger picture is crucial, and that's where your customer lifetime value comes into play. To gauge how much you should allocate to BBC, calculate your CLV alongside your cost of goods sold. For instance, if acquiring a customer uh, costs you $5, you'll need to generate at least $10 in lifetime revenue for your business to thrive. Amazon seller ads are a potent avenue for boosting your business's profitability. When utilized effectively, they can enhance your return on ad spend and amplify the PPC earnings. Yet this requires the time and dedication. Alternatively, seeking guidance from an expert can steer uh, all of your campaigns towards the success. If you're ready to get started with PPC management services, contact us to learn how we can help you increase your Amazon ROAS while minimizing the wasted ad spend. Please find the link in the description below to know more. Achieving success on Amazon calls for a right balance. Finding this sweet spot between the profit and the ROAS is pivotal for outperforming your competitors. Kickstart by assessing the typical profit margins of similar products. If your margin is tight, excessive investment in BBC ads might not be prudent. However, for high-value items with greater profit potential, upping your PPC ad budget could be beneficial. The key to pinpointing this balance lies in monitoring your campaign's performance. Go to your Seller Central account for an overview of the past sales. By comparing these with the outcomes of each campaign type, you will unveil which ad types and the most revenue. I hope that my insights have clarified your concept of ROAS and its significance as a paramount performance indicator for the advertising campaigns. Every Amazon seller should aim for the highest possible ROAS value. This objective is attainable through improving the profit margin and actively managing the cost of click for ads. A high ROAS means greater returns on advertising expenditure, which is a key attribute to a thriving Amazon business. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salra. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides for any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!